Hi, I'm Jack Whittles. And I'm Crystal Stone. And together, we we're are Whittlestone, Whittlestone Geologic, Geologic Treasures. Treasures. Today, we're going to show you a video on uh, scuba diving, uh, extreme underwater mudlarking for uh, antique bottles uh, near Victoria, British Columbia. This is the Chris Morley you just see me find in the videos. Beautiful little uh, Hutchison bottle from Victoria, British Columbia. So this is one of the little torpedo bottles and it's made like this so it can lie on its side with, so it keeps the cork wet and that way it keeps it from popping off in shipping. This is an example of Silver Spring Brewery that was just found in the video.
This is the Benedictine bottle. Lots of beautiful barnacles. Lots. Somebody help! Help! Ah! Here's one of the uh, Chris Morley's that you see in the video. Uh, so they have several variants of hutch. They have some with an extended top like this one, some with a short top like you saw here. You can see the difference in the tops.
And this beautiful little bottle is Alien Perrin's Worcestershire sauce. Ooh, pretty. <laughs> What's he got now? A soda? It's a lot tighter turn in this boat. It's nice. <laughs> it's got two bottles. Oh, plates. What you got, Mikey? Guys, uh, it looks like it's broken. Up. Belfast. Got it. You need to grab those? Sure. Okay, you got them. How was it? Hard to see? Yeah, it's really sucky. It's a little bit darker now, yeah. How's your dive? Looks like you like that. <laughs> Having fun, Kyle? You're doing a great job. Did Alan tell you about the first rule? No. Don't hit anything. <laughs> <laughs> Tough life to have to come out here and do this sort of stuff. This is a bottle that uh, Mike brought up that absolutely thrilled me. It took my breath away when I first saw it. It reminded me of all the uh, treasure hunting for uh, gold off the coral reefs. It's just a beautiful piece of art. This is one of my favorite pieces. It's a beautiful piece of art. Uh, JJ Melcher gin bottle from about the 1890s with a beautiful uh, barnacle growth coming off of it. This is one of the rarest BC bottles that you can find and collectors absolutely love it. The heat Jack even left the particle on it and polished it, all intact. This one was one of my very first bottles I found at this site and it's actually full of original content when you shake it it effervesces and uh, so it could be scientifically studied to see what the contents were. I secured the uh, top with glue just to make sure it stays intact. And what happened was someone tried to open this and it actually tore the thread inside but didn't didn't open so they threw it away in the garbage and it ended up uh, out, dumped out in the ocean i found this bottle near the end of one of my dives when my goodie bag was already full and i was so excited to find it that i actually carried it up i think i had it hooked on my arm had my goodie bag attached and i was controlling my air this way and i got to the surface and i i couldn't stay afloat i was bobbing around and slapping my hand and mike on the boat thought i was drowning but uh, he came over and saw what i was I just being greedy <laughs> and he got mad at me but uh, it was worth it a, a beautiful art piece and since we're a whittlestone geologic treasures it's nice to have a bottle that actually has a stone attached the barnacle growth incorporated a stone along with this uh, canning jar 
and it makes a beautiful little piece. Sometimes we end up in places that we never meant to go. Like the waves out on the sea. If you want to make it through, you got to take it one wave at a time. That's really all that you can do.